When we go to the grocery store, we see all types of fruits and vegetables, but where do they come from? We know that plants grow from the ground, absorb nutrients they need from soil, and love drinking lots of water. But did you know that plants can grow other ways too? This is Finn. He enjoys swimming laps around his tank, blowing bubbles, but more importantly, he loves to eat. But what's unique about Finn is that he lives in an aquaponic system, where his waste turns into food for plants to grow. Outside, plants use the sun to make themselves grow stronger. But inside, plants use a grow light in order to become big and beautiful. We know you were super eager to find out how all this works, so let's get started. Aquaponics is the science of raising fish and plants in a recirculating ecosystem where fish waste acts as a natural fertilizer for your plants and the plants purify the water for the fish. This sustainable method of food production combines aquaculture, raising aquatic animals, and hydroponics, cultivating plants and water with added nutrients. There are three life forms living inside of an aquaponic system, fish, bacteria, and plants. All three work together to create an ecosystem, which produces food for us to eat. The fish make waste, the bacteria turns waste into nutrition for the plants, and the plants clean the water for the fish. The plants absorb nutrients and water through their roots, which is taken all the way up to the leaves. This allows Finn and his friends to swim happily in a clean tank, while plants thrive because they are constantly receiving nutrient-rich water. Perfect harmony! Let's swim deeper and look at the role nitrifying bacteria plays in aquaponics. It starts with cycling, the process of how nitrifying bacteria colonizes in an aquaponic system to establish the nitrogen cycle. Every single aquaponic system will need to cycle in order to produce the necessary nitrogen needed to grow healthy leafy greens. The nitrogen cycle creates equilibrium in your system. It can take anywhere between six weeks to six months, depending on the size of your system, water temperature, and how many fish you have, and the amount of feed. It is very important for people with aquaponic systems to test and record pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate throughout the cycling process to check water quality health. Now that we covered the basics, let's see the science. Nitrogen is an important element that is necessary to sustain life. The nitrogen cycle starts with the food fed to your fish, which turns into ammonia excreted from their gills and waste. Ammonia is toxic to fish, and if the fish were left in a tank with no way to remove the ammonia, then the fish would eventually die. Luckily, nature has it all figured out. Nitrifying bacteria, which have colonized your system's biofilter, will eat the ammonia removing it from the system and converting it into nitrite. A second set of nitrifying bacteria then eats the nitrite, which is also poisonous to fish, and removes it from the system, turning it into nitrate. Fish can tolerate higher levels of nitrate, and it just so happens to be an essential nutrient for plant growth. Nitrate is easily used by plants for vegetative growth, and any plants living in your system will remove the nitrate from the water. If you have ever owned a fish tank, then you know just how important it is to change the water every few weeks to remove the end product of the nitrogen cycle, nitrate. But with aquaponics, the plant component is added to your tank so no water changes are needed because the plants are utilizing the nitrate as food. Aquaponics is a sustainable farming method which can reduce water and land usage up to 90%. Aquaponics reshapes the way we think about and interact with agriculture, diet, and the environment. Together, we can rethink the way we use resources for good, starting from the ground up. <laughs>